Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to start a new faith journal. And along with this, I have started a new faith journal channel. So that is where I'm going to move, probably move my Sunday faith journal videos over to because I've got such a backlog on this channel. Um, I've got videos from October that I still haven't put out. So I think that's just gonna help me organize things better and um, keep this channel to creativity um, and that kind of thing. So we'll see how we go, we'll play it by ear, but I have my very first faith journal video over on that channel and also an introduction to faith journaling video too um, that kind of introduces that channel. So I'll link that below in the description box if you would like to see that and follow along there. Um, but basically in this video, I just wanted to set up my faith journal. So I love using a library card for this. I get my library cards from A Tattered Dream on Etsy and they come with a pocket and I always put the same details. I put my name, the name of the journal, I'm just calling it my faith journal, um, the date I started it and look, I forgot to write 2022. <laughs> that might happen for a while yet. Um, and then I will put the date for the finish date and then I'll write about the details of the journal, how I got this journal from the lovely Pamela as a birthday present. And on the back, this is usually where I write my intentions for the journal, how I'm going to use it. And because it's the new year, I'm writing my goals, my faith journal goals. So things like read the Bible from cover to cover. If that's something you want to join me with, um, feel free to do so. And yeah, I'll be documenting that journey over on my faith channel. Um, also to read the Bible daily, to journal more regularly, um, because I find journaling is such a great tool for connecting with God. It's one of the best ways that I can um, yeah, listen to him, speak to him, and write down what I'm learning from him, and a great way to yeah, remember it, because we, we can be so quick to forget the lessons that we've learned. But this is just a way to document how he is speaking in my life and working in my life. Um, so I, I want to do that more than one day a week, so not just on Sundays, but more than one day a week. I'm not sure how many days, I'm not putting a number on it, um, but that Faith Journal channel will help keep me accountable with that goal. And yeah, this is all part of my intentional life course as well, where I am aiming to live a more meaningful and intentional life that lines up with my values and goals. So yesterday and today, I have been working on that you know, setting up my faith channel, I can tick that goal off now, I'm starting this new faith journal, and yeah, it's really, really exciting. Um, I just want to encourage you that you don't need to necessarily meet all your goals, that's not what this is necessarily about, it's about trying new things, setting the goals, and actually doing them, but if it doesn't work out, that's okay. If we fail at our goals, that's okay because we learn, we grow through it, we learn, oh, maybe that isn't a goal that I want to have or maybe that goal isn't actually helping my well-being or helping my life. So if it's not actually adding anything to our lives, just cut it out. Even though you might set that goal in January, um, you don't have to persist with that goal the rest of your life or the rest of the year if it's not working for you. That setting the goals at least helps us to... Um, get out of our comfort zone, challenge ourselves, try new things and see what does work. That's the aim. So that it helps us live closer to that intentional, meaningful life. And so, yeah, um, now I am just going to uh, annotate my journaling Bible. You can see that I've put the date there, the 24th of the first 21. And that's how the journal, how the journal, how this passage, Genesis 1, is was speaking to me back then and look I've completely made a meal of this date it's supposed to say the second or the first 2022 so I've later changed that um but yeah when I do that faith journal page spread on the other channel I'm looking at Genesis 1 chapters uh, sorry verses 1 to 3 I think that's always a good one to start off with when you look at the start of the year um and in a nutshell uh how that was speaking to me was just a reminder that you know, you might not know what this year is going to look like. It might have a lot of unknowns and uncertainties. But one thing that we can be sure of is that God, God is bringing light and he's bringing goodness. His nature is just light and goodness. There's no darkness in him. So he can't bring darkness. He can only ever bring light and goodness to our lives. And so 
he will be constantly bringing light and goodness to our lives in 2022. The other thing that this was speaking to me about was how, you know, he's a creative God and he created the whole universe and that he gave us creative power and agency. And what are we going to create in 2022? So maybe I want to spend some time reflecting on that and that's what I've been doing. And I want to work with him and participate with him, bringing light and goodness into the world. And I share a bit about my thoughts around that and ways I can do that um, over my other channel when I do my paid spread. So if you want to join me in this challenge of reading the Bible from cover to cover and reading the Bible daily or journaling more regularly in your faith journal, feel free to come and join me and check out that other channel, my faith channel, um, and we can journey together and yeah, learn and grow together as we record how God is at work in our lives, bringing light, love and goodness into our lives this year in 2022 and here I'm just going to share a little sneak peek of the page spread that I did and that's the process video you'll see over on the other channel if you want to be part of the intentional life course where we will set goals and work out our values and um, help us to create a more intentional meaningful life and connect with other people going through this journey um, it's with ladies 18 years old or over um, and we've got 12 people so far so if you want to be part of that I'll also link leave a link to that in the description box below and I'm so excited to go on this journey setting up the year with you guys it goes for a month and then if you want to stay on for the whole year with a support group you can do that as well so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video a big special thank you to all my patrons in December who supported me and Willow Band Journals with the vision to bring light and love to the world through storytelling, journaling and creativity and inspiration. You guys, without you, I could not do what I do full time. So thank you, thank you so much. You allow me to do videos and make journals and teach journaling courses. So know that you are having a huge impact on not only my life, but all the people who watch the videos, and get one of my journals or do one of my courses. If you would like to become a patron in January, uh, the link will be down below in the description box. And that gives you access to extra videos, printables, behind the scenes looks, personal updates, first access to my journals and you'll be just supporting me and I just can't thank you enough for that helping my dream come true. May you journal your life because your stories matter.